State Representative Maisha Miner's decision to switch from the Democrats to the Republican Party was not taken lightly. After experiencing a breakdown in her relationship with her own party, she made the bold move to join the Republicans. Now, she proudly represents one of the most liberal areas in Georgia under the Gold Dome. The support for Miner's decision was evident as top state Republicans, including Governor Brian Kemp, stood by her side during the announcement. Their swift endorsement showcased the unity within the party and their belief in Miner's capabilities. Today I stand here to say that I have decided to join the Republican Party of Georgia. I supported children and families over the teachers' union. I supported the Republican position not to defund the police. What it reflects is a reality about where there is a political home where diversity of opinion is welcomed. Nothing changes. The only thing that changes is I have support and I'm not being harassed and intimidated. State Representative Misha Maynard said she was tired of attacks from Democratic colleagues after breaking with the party on several key votes this year. But the last draw, she says, was a vote on a school voucher bill that would have given parents stipends for private educations and homeschooling. They put a checks up on social media for $1,000 to run against me. Nobody wants to talk about that. Maynard said she'd been contemplating a defection for a while, but only announced her switch to the Republican Party on Tuesday. She faced a media backlash on social media from Democratic lawmakers and many of her own constituents who didn't vote for a Republican. Do you think that it was fair to constituents who had voted you in as a Democrat to switch parties without an election? I do. They elected me to serve them. I'm serving them. So I'm not, I haven't changed anything. I'm the same person, same values. Um, Voting for the same things just because I switch parties um, doesn't mean now I'm going to switch my values and my ideals. Elected officials have the right to represent their constituents in any way they see fit. Georgia State political science professor Jeff Lazarus says there's nothing unlawful about what Maynard did. In fact, others have done it in the past, but he said it permanently alters the relationship between her and her constituents. However, not everyone was pleased with Maynard's choice. Congresswoman Nakima Williams, the Democratic leader in Georgia, criticized her decision as a betrayal of her constituents. This sentiment was echoed by many in Midtown who felt let down by Miner's defection. The true impact of this political shift will only become clear at the end of next year when Miner is up for re-election. Until then, speculation will continue, and Democrats have already vowed to challenge her in Atlanta. It is a testament to the significance of Miner's move that her opponents are already mobilizing to contest her seat. In conclusion, State Representative Maisha Miner's decision to switch parties has caused a stir in Georgia's political landscape. While some applaud her courage, others view it as a betrayal. Only time will tell how this move will shape the future of Miner's political career. Stay tuned for more updates on this intriguing development.